Chad H.T. Show, News Talk, KFYO. Thank you very much for tuning in today. In studio right now, tis the season uh, for uh, candidates to come by the studio. Uh, we've got Carrie Shaw, a candidate, a Republican candidate uh, for Lubbock County Commissioner Precinct 3. Welcome back. Thank you, Chad. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I, I enjoy getting out and talking to the, the people in Precinct 3 and letting them know what I'm about. That's great. Well, uh, you joined us. Uh, the last time you joined us was... Uh, back in September, I believe. Yes. Uh, or was that in September? Yeah, it was in uh, September. It, all the time kind of runs together. Uh, what What have you uh, been doing since then? And and as far as the campaign goes, and uh, you know, what, who have you been talking to? Well, I have finally made a trip to New Deal this past weekend. Got some signs put out there and visited with some people. Had some real good response. I uh, got my signs made week four last finally. So they're going going out, and I'm knocking on doors. I'm not going to be able to make every door because I'm self-employed, and if I'm not out working, money's not coming in to feed the family. Sure. But I would love to be able to, to knock on every door in Precinct 3 and let them know what I'm about. Tell folks uh, a little bit about your background and uh, and why you decided to uh, run for County Commissioner Precinct 3. Okay. I'm, I'm 62 years old. I'm a 10-plus year veteran United States Air Force been married to my wife for almost 36 years i've got a daughter and three grandsons i'm self-employed fence contractor uh while i was in the military i was in phase inspection where i tore down airplanes and put them back together and learned attention to detail the last year i was in the air force i was in plans and scheduling where i scheduled 80 flights a day using 30 aircraft in their maintenance and everything so i learned how to how to give and take to get the job done. I feel like I'm the most qualified person for this job because of, of my conservatism and my experiences. What needs to be improved on in, uh, in Precinct 3? The number one thing we need to improve is the road maintenance. You know, we, we tell the people we can't afford to put caliche on your road, and the simple reason is because we don't take care of the caliche we've put. The caliche on the road should never go away. If it's pulled from one side to the middle and the other side to the middle and then the road crowned, the caliche will never leave. Like they're blading it now, they're pushing it off in the bar ditch and then putting it up in the fence line or on the turn row where it's causing damage to private property. Uh, another thing that we need to do is, is go in and find the waste and a repetition in our county government. We don't have a tax problem. We have a spending problem. And in every government, there is waste. And, and I will dig deep to find that. And I will also start people on day one researching grants and applying for grants for Lubbock County. Uh, you had mentioned uh, dur during the break when you and I were talking uh, a, a, an issue that came up in the, the last school round for county commissioner races, and that is EMS service. Uh, and, uh, you're, I think you're, you live out in Idaho, correct? Absolutely. Uh, this is something that's pretty close to your heart. Uh, obviously talk about, uh, you know, that, that issue's kind of faded away. It seems like in the spotlight, you want to bring it back in to the spotlight. Absolutely. I do. You know, I've got a type one diabetic grandson. He doesn't have, if he has a serious problem, he doesn't have 30 minutes to two hours to wait on somebody to get him to the hospital. That that spouse that has a husband with a heart condition or an epileptic child or an asthmatic child don't have 30 minutes to two hours to wait on ambulance service. The ambulance in Idaho did not just take care of Idaho. It took care of Ransom Canyon, Acuff, even went to Ralston, Abernathy. It, it took care of that whole area and run all the time. It cannot be said that it was a profit loss it brought profit in because most of the people picked up out in the country on the farms and all are people that pay what they need they're not indigent care mm -hmm. uh, precinct three is always the last to get anything and the first to get something taken away umc wanted five hundred thousand dollars to leave ambulance service in idler that's not the same amount that Shallow Water pays. That's not the same amount Slayton pays. That's not the same amount any of the other precincts pay. I, I don't understand. And because UMC is a county hospital, the county commissioners has some say-so in this. 
and can take care of this. And on top of that, we pay a hospital tax. Mm -hmm. It should be that the people in Precinct 3 get the same treatment as Wolferth, as as all the other places. Have you visited with the, the, the current county commissioners about this, and what have they said? I visited briefly with Jason. We didn't have time to really get into it. Uh, I know that they're they're tossing around some deals, but, you know, the deals that I heard did not include an ambulance in, in Idaho. It was some alternatives. And so I'm, I'm dead set. We need ambulance service in Idaho. Uh, what are some of the, the other big issues uh, facing Precinct 3 that, uh, that, that are, are close to you and that you think you would do a better job than, uh, than your opponents? Well, I, I have heard that the gangs are moving to the country. You know, if that's the case, then we need to give the sheriff all the tools he needs to wipe this out. They don't need to be thinking that the country is a safer place for them than the city. They need to know that Lubbock County is no place for them, that it's safer elsewhere. Do you, so uh, have you heard from the sheriff that they need more resources, that they're not getting those, uh, or does that just need to be reexamined? I, I think it needs to be reexamined. I, I have got a card I talked to the sheriff about a month ago, and we decided after the first year we'd sit down and visit and see what he needs. I haven't had a chance to do that right. yet, but that, that is on the agenda to come up. Uh, tell folks how they can uh, find out more information about you and your campaign. Okay, we've got a website. It's kerryshaw.com. I've got a Facebook page. It's Kerry Shaw Campaign Page. The website has all of my story, has pictures of the loves of my heart. And uh, there is a donation button. This is a grassroots effort. I'm not a rich man. Uh, I, I live by by working every day. So I can't be out and knock on doors, but I would love to be, but I need your help. All right. That's uh, carryshaw.com, C-A-R-Y Shaw, S-H-A-W.com, right? Yes. All right. Kerry, good to see you again. And uh, I'm sure we'll have you back in studio at least one or two more times before the election. Well, thank you.